more and more of you are awakening with vivid, yet quickly disappearing messages from your nightly meetings in dream time. These meetings are very real, but as soon as you awaken from your fourth dimensional dream time, your third dimensional self will quickly forget them. Therefore, we advise that you keep a writing pad or means of documentation next to your bed so that as you awaken, you can document these interdimensional meetings. You must document these inner meetings almost immediately upon awakening, as your third dimensional brain is not yet trained to store this frequency of information and will quickly forget the meeting that was initially very vivid and real. We say real, meaning that when you first awaken, and or slightly before you awaken, your third dimensional brain is able to store these messages not as a dream, but as a real experience. Remember, your third dimensional brain is programmed to only perceive physical encounters as real. Hence, any experiences that occur within your fourth dimensional, alpha wave consciousness, are considered by your 3D brain to be a dream or just your imagination. Fortunately, your own multidimensional consciousness, which is now interfacing with your physical brain, will remind you that, everything you perceive is real. However, it may not resonate to the frequency of the third dimensional, physical world. Your meditations are real. Your daydreams are real. Your night dreams are real, and your imagination is real. You are now being called on to activate your entire physical body. By that we mean, you are being called upon to bring your whole brain thinking, your dreams, daydreams, and your power of imagination, online with your third dimensional brain. You may think that this information would be overwhelming, but please remember that you have been brainwashed over myriad incarnations on earth to believe that your perceptions were only real if they resonated to the frequency of the third dimension. Your perceptions were also considered real if they were okay by the 3D consensus reality. This primitive use of the wonderful interface system of your physical brain began when you were brainwashed during your lives in the later days of Atlantis. This brainwashing continued then during the long, dark ages, and even into your modern world. The myriad churches that were actually run by the Illuminati, as well as the many forms of brainwashing that were given to you via your modern commercials has been very effective. These commercials, which inflict your consciousness from every form of media, as well as road signs and huge billboards, tell you how you need to think, act, and be if you want others to accept, or even like you. As we said before, this type of brainwashing began after the peak of Atlantis when it was moving toward its fall. Atlantis had been a fourth dimensional reality that slowly sank deeper and deeper into the third dimension due to the malefic intentions of the power over others that had immigrated to Earth after they lost the Great Galactic War. You, our dear Ascending Ones, are just now expanding your consciousness beyond the third dimensional beta waves. This beta wave, third dimensional thinking, greatly limits your beliefs to think that only the third dimensional, physical world was real and everything else was just your imagination. However, more and more of you are expanding your waking consciousness to embrace the concept that the fourth dimensional world is not just a dream. You, the awakening ones, are increasingly remembering the many messages that you are receiving and the experiencing that you are having in your dream time. Once you remember these inner experiences, you realize that there is much to be gained by remembering and documenting your dreams. Once you begin this process, your conception of the real world slowly, or quickly, expands to include the fourth dimension. It is at this point that you begin to remember your meetings in dream time. We, the galactics and celestials who have extended our multidimensional essence to resonate within the bandwidth of your fourth dimension, are happily greeting you within this frequency of reality. You can, and many of you do, communicate with us while you are awake and meditating. You can enter dream time and much higher worlds, via meditation. Furthermore, if you are meditating, rather than sleeping, there is part of your multidimensional self that can document your experiences within the now that you are experiencing them. This documentation is vital, as your physical brain cannot effectively store multidimensional messages. Fortunately, as you document your experiences, and especially if you share them, you ground them into your physical world. 
Once grounded into the third dimension, these messages begin to interact with a myriad third dimensional thought forms that invisibly float through your physical reality like a virus. In many ways these 3D thought forms serve like a virus in that they infect your innate multidimensional thinking. It is for this reason that the lost slash dark ones have flooded your reality with myriad 3D messages telling you that if you want to be accepted, if you want to be good enough, you must buy this thing. Of course, the money that it costs you to buy this useless thing all goes to those who have used the fear of your not being good enough so that you will give your money to them. This is a double-edged sword because when you give your money to them, you do not have enough money to give to the person, places, establishments, and situations that would use your money to heal persons and planet. It is for this reason that we have taken the risk to have regular meetings in the mid to higher fourth dimension, so that you can join us during your dream time. We say, taken the risk, because the fourth dimension to us is much like you being on the bottom of the ocean. The fourth dimensional frequency is so dense to us that it feels as if the weight of an ocean is on us. Therefore, we take short shifts and only remain at the frequency for a short amount of what you would perceive as time. We wish to congratulate you, our volunteers to Earth, for clearing up your own fourth dimensional auras, which serve to clean up Gaia's fourth dimensional aura, enough that we can briefly tolerate the density of the fourth dimensional aura of dear Gaia. We are very pleased that many of our friends wearing Earth vessels have been able to educate more and more of our visitors to Earth who became lost in the lies and delusions of the timeline of your third dimensional Earth. Because so many of you have been able to awaken to your true, multidimensional nature, you are able to consciously accept the higher frequencies of light that are bathing dear Gaia to prepare her for planetary ascension. Those wearing an Earth vessel now have the rare opportunity to participate in the impending event of planetary ascension. By planetary ascension we mean that Gaia is opening up her fifth dimensional habitat zone for conscious population. We say conscious population because many of you have been visiting fifth dimensional Earth, but do not remember that experience once you return to the limited perceptions of your third dimensional Earth vessel. It is for this reason that we are visiting your dreams, just before you are ready to awaken, in hopes that you will remember our meeting. We further hope that you document our meeting and share it with others. Be sure to remind those with whom you communicate to also share their experiences. Your commercials have trained you that you must hear the same message over and over again in slightly different ways before you can determine that that message is real, and not just your imagination. Fortunately, this 3D indoctrination does not cross the barrier over into your fourth dimensional thinking unless your self-esteem has been greatly weakened. By self-esteem, we mean the esteem in which you hold yourself. Many of our meetings in Dreamtime have been focused on reminding you that you are held in great esteem by your galactic family for all that you have done to assist Gaia with her planetary ascension. How do you remember that you have just awakened from a meeting in dream time? You will likely remember our meeting immediately upon your awakening, but our message is too often very fleeting to your third dimensional consciousness. Therefore, when you awaken with a dream in your mind, immediately close your eyes again before you fully awaken. Then, relax into the feeling of being in both your dream world and your physical world. Allow images of your nightly journey to dance with your 3D memory. Go into a meditative state in which you are not asleep but not fully awake. In this state, you can often recover the important higher dimensional messages that your 3D brain has interpreted as just a dream. Once you recapture that dream, step into the dream and tell yourself the dream with your eyes closed. When you tell yourself your dream, you transfer the dream from your fourth dimensional dream reality and into your third dimensional conscious thinking. Then, when you open your eyes, immediately reach for the pad and pen that is always stored next to your bed. And quickly write down everything that you can remember. If you slip back into sleep, it is likely to assist you to remember your dream time message. Hence, be sure to tell yourself the dream, and immediately write it down. 
With practice, you will train your third dimensional waking brain to remember your dreams longer and or to remember the short picture or message that flew through your awareness at the moment of your awakening. This short picture or message is telling you, this is an interdimensional message that you will want to remember in your waking life. As you follow the above process, you will begin to more vividly and more often remember your dreams. You will also be able to remember your dreams for a longer time, so that you can get to your computer to type them. If you have a daily meditation practice, even if it is only for a few minutes, you will be more able to remember your dreams. Remember that daily meditations expand your conscious perceptions into higher and higher frequencies of reality. As your daily states of consciousness expand into higher and higher dimensions, your experiences of daily life will change. Then, your priorities will shift from day-to-day -day survival to the ongoing process of planetary ascension. There are more and more grounded ones who have made this shift away from 3D survival and into 5D ascension. What they are all discovering is that what you think about, you bring about. Therefore, if you think about all the horrible things that can happen in your 3D world, you actually serve to calibrate your attention to those experiences. On the other hand, if you think about planetary ascension, you calibrate your consciousness to your multidimensional self. With your focus on your multidimensional self, you are in constant communication with the higher frequency perceptions of your own higher self. Then, while those who can only attend to the physical world worry about the myriad negative and controlling messages that they receive every day, you are focusing on the higher dimensional reality that is continually merging with your daily 3D life. Via this higher dimensional focus, you will gain more and more information about the developing multidimensional reality that you are visiting during your dreams, meditations, creative endeavors, and conversations with others who have also embraced their higher dimensional self and higher dimensional perceptions. Those who keep their perceptions pinned to the third dimensional and lower fourth dimensional versions of reality are becoming increasingly frightened, angry, erratic, and confused. On the other hand, those who have embraced their higher dimensional experiences as real events that are occurring in the real world are becoming calmer, more centered, and increasingly dedicated to assisting Gaia with her process of planetary ascension. Gaia is a free will planet. Which reality do you choose?